next thing we can do is, well, upgrade. Yeah, everything that you're able to upgrade that you weren't able to upgrade before will show a little plus next to it. And we've got the first, the Storm Fist. A punishing melee attack that deals bonus damage. Fist. Much fist. Yeah, these we may as well get rid of because they're nowhere near as good as the one that I've got right now. Gonna get rid of this one now. I was glitchy. Another thing. Um. I don't have an example of that. Just because a an item piece has higher, if there is a um, a common item that has higher defense than your uncommon item. I recommend that you keep the uncommon item. Why? Because the uncommon item can give you these perks, like the discipline, the strength, shit like that, which is gives you more of a boost to your um, to your stats, if that makes any sense, than the defense would. Oh, hey, I got a couple of fusion rifles. I'm going to equip the fishing rifles now. This one has an arc damage. That one has solar damage. Which means enemies with blue and enemies with red. Equip the arc shields. one. Shields. that one more. Yeah, I'm definitely equipping the arc one. Enemies that have blue or red shields will be more vulnerable to us. If we've got those equipped. And also, I've got a fusion rifle now, so I can show you guys what those handle like. What those do. Holy shit, we've been recording for almost two hours. Seriously? Yeah. Holy shit. Last time I checked, it was almost, an, it was like 45 minutes. <laughs> Bounties available. Xander 9940, 9940 has work for guardians heading into the wilderness or the crucible. Which I can explain the crucible later. And I can explain the wilderness, quote unquote. Or the, um, well, let's go over here first. The, um, patrol. I can explain that later on. But first, bounties! Yes. Complete any or all of these. Bounty access. Vanguard has need of proven guardians. Right now we got the patrol cosmodrome Vanguard bounty, which is complete six patrol missions in the cosmodrome. We can all I can show you guys that later. Relic harvest cosmodrome. Collect two hundred sensor mites in the cosmodrome. I'll show you that later. And the body dropper. Kill 100 enemies without dying. I'll show you that as well. The other ones that you can do are... Well, you can't do them right now. These are your bounties. Whenever you access the bounties, in other words, after you've completed those three bounties, you can start doing these ones. The bounties are going to be limited to those that you're actually capable of doing right now. So, for instance, I there are some bounties that I won't be able to access on the moon yet. I They will not show up for me yet. Even if they show up for everyone else, I won't see them yet. Exchange complete. Which, uh, I kind of like that. Avoid showing spoilers. Oh yeah, it's a ball. <gasps> the ball. It's a balloon. It's a balloon. It's a balloon. I just stood on the balloon. That was yeah, you weird. Didn't stand on it. No, I was standing on it as you, it was falling. Yeah, if you can, la if you land on it right, you can stand on it. 
That was I didn't know that. There's so many things I'm just I'm learning in this LP. So if you're showing you guys things, been game for almost a year, and he's still learning shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you hit it while I'm standing on it? Oh, you can um, you can get Eris's shit now too. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna grab that one simply because I don't have any black wax idol with this character, but whatever. Well, the <laughs> Eris things I didn't want to explain too much until we got around um, the moon. Well, you don't have to. You don't have to accept that 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 mission because you can't until you're level twenty. Mm. Well, so I mean, some of, well, I guess I could show most of the shits. Off. Most of the shits still on. Most of the shits still on Earth. Destroy this world if we do not stop him. Yeah, these are the Ares missions. The Ares missions. You're able to, whenever you get to level twenty, you're able to start doing her story missions. Right now, you can't. However, there are some oh, missions that... Oh, we're level 5, so we can grab shit from the Vanguard. Uh, okay. Quartermaster over here. Um, whenever you... get to, um... I don't even think that you had to be... At, I can. I think you can do it at level 1, I don't know. But you can start using missions like... You're able to start doing the Eris missions... pretty early on... in order to start boosting your Eris ranks. Your, um, I think you have to. I think it's Crota rank. like you have Crota to rank? be at least. Crota's man. Like I think you have to be at least. Um, like you have to be at least able to grab the regular bounties from. The yeah, maybe. But yeah, maybe I should have come in here earlier to see if that was the case. Hmm, I didn't think about that. Uh. Can't do this well, one right now because we do not have black wax idols. Yeah. Well, if you're uh, watching this and you, you, you don't what? mind trying, go ahead and try and let us know. <laughs> yeah. If you're like level two, because I don't think you're able to do this at level one, I think that you'll be. Um, you, you haven't even completed the first mission if you're at level one, unless you just skipped all the enemies and went over to the. Actually, I think you probably would. Be fun able to. fact: It is possible to finish that, finish the first mission. Well, I guess not. Well, I don't know. The mission would probably um, give you enough experience at the very end to level you up. Yeah. But yeah, let us know. I think that you're only you. You're only able to start grabbing normal missions when you reach level 5. So, I think it might also be the same case with your, um, Ares missions. Also, I don't know why I never mentioned this. If you want to look at details of equips like this, it shows you a nice look at it. You can look at it by pressing the Y button. It's not that important. It's just if you want to see it and you want to see how pretty it is, you can take a look at it. Now when it comes down to looking at their, um, that's also how you look at their uh, upgrades and shit like that. So, if you want to see what upgrades those things get, then press the Y button and take a look. Okay. It'll get this boost. It'll get that boost. It has this many attack boosts, so on and so forth. Got to keep this one clean or Again, some of those I'll have to explain a little bit later on. But right now, if you don't have any greens or anything green or blue or purple or yellow, you can take a look at them, look at their details, and look at how pretty they are. Yeah, even the green ones will say details. It won't. It won't say upgrades, unless I think you're able to upgrade it. Fucking okay, nah, blockbuster race. Think... 
Ooh, machine gun. I want to equip that, but I won't. Damn it, why didn't I do this? Master Rule. Let's decrypt. Oh, let's yeah. give him our... I don't have anything to decrypt? Guardian. Great. I thought I had something to decrypt. I guess I only had the Silken Codex. Silken Codex is just like the, um, the house banners and later things. Except instead of dropping... Instead of the Fallen dropping it, it's the Hive. The Hive will drop Silken Codexes. The Fallen will drop your, um, your house banners. Looks there like are other things I will drop, and mm, put two and two together. Those other things will drop from other enemies. Spoiler. But yeah. Now I'm going to show off the shipwright. We've been over here before, we've talked to her before, but I didn't really actually explain much of anything. The shipwright gives you your sparrows, like higher level sparrows, which give which have higher durability and are actually faster and they've also got a um, a couple of different perks to them like they've got the acceleration of course but they've also got the ability to break and corner more aggressively I'll explain that actually I can explain that when I grab my um, my special sparrows I might do in a couple moments. I'll explain that whenever we go out there and I, sh I can show you them, though. And there are also your ships. You can get multiple different ships. But quite literally, the ships only have one purpose, and that is to be pretty. So, when it comes down to vehicles, when it comes down to anything, if you want to um, worry about looks, I recommend that you... Um, Worry about the aesthetics of your ship. Worry about how they look. Well, sometimes they have a badass description. Yeah, sometimes they'll have a badass description, but even then, this is, that's aesthetics. It doesn't have an actual, um, any actual significance. Like, you can't, it, this ship looks like it's got blasters on it. These right here. You can't shoot anything with them. In fact, you can't even fly around with them. Take care of them. The only thing that you see them in is when you go to orbit. And the Vanguard Quartermaster, which Adam has constantly mentioned. How can I help you tonight? Vanguard Adam? Quartermaster allows you if to you buy. If you have access to this to this guy, he will give you really good gear for your level until you get to like the high until you get to like level twenty. He will yep. you will he, all the gear you get from him will be your gear for a while. Mm-hmm. Because it is that good. Yeah, it will be things like it'll usually be, if I'm not mistaken, it'll always actually be green or maybe better. I actually think that they're only green. So um, I don't know if anything. It, it, if you, depending on your rank, it may be blue. Oh he has yeah. purple shit, but, but it's like and they're all weapons. And this, why well, I mentioned um, rank, they also this that goes into your vanguard reputation. Right now, my vanguard rank is zero. In other words, I'm not a very good vanguard person. <laughs> your vanguard rank until you start doing um, patrol missions or um, bounties or strikes or other things of that nature your vanguard rank is going to be zero and in order for you to get other things like really really special things like these you had to be pretty high ranked in fact you must be rank three in order to pick these up vanguard marks I'll explain those later when we can actually get them vanguard accommodation I will explain those when I can actually get them but yeah I think I'm going to grab myself I think I'm going to grab myself. I think I'm going to grab myself a, um, a scout rifle from him. From the armory. The armory is always open to you. So I can equip it. And I can equip the helmet I grabbed from him. And they will be mine. And 
And again, if it's not as good, you may as well get rid of it. If it's not as good, does not have good perks, does not ha is not as strong, and is overall worse. Like if it's a common item and it's not as good as your um, your uncommon items, which they rarely are, then you may as well get rid of them. Like I just did. Do not have uh, sentimental values placed on your equips. You're going to get rid of them more often than not. It is a scripted event. Oh yeah! I guess I can explain this now. Um, special orders. If you have... Um, if you've use certain codes or in some cases I think there are a couple of exceptions but more often than not if you're among the lucky people who got the um, the early editions of the um, pre-ordered editions of Destiny then why is it taking you this long to play the game? <laughs> but um if you got the codes mm -hmm. and you've input the codes and you see this character come over to them go over to her and you can pick up well, some of the things that you got from her well from the codes for instance your vanguard honor if you are one of the people who played the beta you can get the sign of the elders and some of these through here, I think um, all of them from this one on, I'm not quite sure about the sign of the founders, but I think all the rest of them, there is a site that I'll actually put a um, the URL to in my description, where you can go to find the codes that will allow you to purchase well not purchase but download these to your character the link in my description will explain it in a lot more detail it will also allow you to get the oracle 99 armor shader and the double banshee armor shader which double banshee is my you can't favorite. use them until you're level 20 yeah you can't use them until you're level 20 as it says as it uh, lets you know very very heavily on the screen. <laughs> Requires level 20. Requires level 20. Darn you. But, things you can use, if you have them, are the Sparrow. Wait, can S you use a Legendary 10. Sparrow? Yep. That's not fucking fair. <laughs> <laughs> the Sparrow S10V, which, if I'm not mistaken, is a GameStop exclusive? I think? Yeah, it was a GameStop pre-order exclusive. Yeah, GameStop pre-order exclusive. You get a code from GameStop and you're able to get that. So for those of you who got that, I give you props. That is a very, very nice Sparrow. I'll show it off. And if you've got the season pass... Technically already, they've technically already seen it. Yeah. If, if you got it, you've already seen it. Or... I, no, because I was I, that's the one I was using earlier, red, the red and black one. Oh yeah, well, the yeah, but I, I was hard. I was I wasn't really paying too much attention to you. Well, they were because I was smashing into you. <laughs> well, they may have been, may have been, but um, yeah, that's the. Xbox exclusive and Xbox exclusive. Fuck, that is the GameStop exclusive. It has 20 more durability, which doesn't really count for much, and it also gives you the um, aggressive breaking and cornering. And then there is the tumbler, which is sexy. Cool bike. I shall now grab that. And we're gonna check and see if we've gotten any, if we have any more missions. If we do, I'll show both of these. If not, then I will end the, 
LP now. Well, in the LP whenever we see whether or not we've got any more. And I'll show these off in the next video. Which, next video, as in next recording session, this is probably like four or five videos. Dear God. It's all Let's one quick. long two-hour episode. <laughs> nope. We are done with Earth. Now, the next thing that we could do, we could go to the Cosmodrome. Or, I'm not going to Devil's Lair anytime soon. Well, technically we could, but I'd rather not. We'll probably go to the I, Cosmodrome next, actually. Yeah, so that we can I, do I'd the bounties. do the patrol, yeah. Which, what time, how much time do we have? It's been two hours. Um... Well... Go ahead and cut it. Go ahead yeah. and cut it and we can start, we can continue recording if we, if you want, but go ahead and cut the video here and then start recording again. Yeah, we don't want any more error, we don't want an error to happen. So yeah, um, I guess... I will end it here. This has been Irvin Cascade and the asshole. And, <laughs> and the asshole, yes. <laughs> and Adam. For let's play well, let's co op Destiny. Take care, have a good night, and I hope to see y'all again. Stop the fuck. Where's my controls? Damn it! Where's my controls? Oh, there we go.